Yeah, see, I don't know if I'm supposed to be collecting stuff, if I'm supposed to, like, find an exit. The walls keep telling me that there's no escape. Ah! Oh, fuck! Hey, dudes and dudettes, I'm Derek with Game Somniac, and today we're going to be playing Backrooms. Now, this game is something that just kind of came across my my feed on Steam, and I like the way it looked. It's, it's kind of like a retro VHS uh, first-person horror title. Uh, it looked really interesting, and um, I don't know anything about the back rooms. I know it's an internet thing, but I, I've never looked into the whole back rooms thing, so I don't know what the enemy is like, or or what the lore is, or you know, I, I skipped a couple of episodes, so I'm just kind of going in here, not really knowing too much. Now I will disclose, um, I have just played this game previously. Unfortunately, the recording got all fucked up. The encoder just kind of shit the bed, and it didn't record anything. Uh, that was usable. So I just played like 30 minutes of the game. Um, but there's really not much that we missed um, as compared to what we're going to experience here. It's pretty much going to be the same thing. Uh, we're going to be fighting who I call Mr. Scary Squiggle. Uh, I believe he is the tape inside of a VHS cassette. And he's mad because either somebody tore him out of his cassette tape or somebody wasn't kind and uh, they weren't being kind and rewound the tape before they returned him to Blockbuster. Is that's that's what I'm, what I uh, believe is is happening here from from just kind of watching this little soap opera here. But we're gonna go. Oh wait a minute. Steam unavailable. Try again to restart the game. What? What? Ah. Uh, okay. Hold on. Alright guys, we're back. I uh, restarted Steam. We're going to see if it's going to work. Thank Christ. If it's not OBS, it's fucking Steam. My God. So, the problem I was having was uh, the encoder was becoming overloaded. And it wasn't capturing everything as fast as it should be. Um, the last game I played on this computer that I was recording was Unreal Tournament 1999 Edition. So, I can't record at 60 frames per second, otherwise the computer just fucking absolutely, like, loses its mind. So, I had to knock down the frame rate to 30 frames per second, but then I started getting bold with how good the 30 frames per second was doing. I said, oh, let me just, let me just bump that up to 48, 48 FPS. Let's just see how 48 FPS does. And for Unreal Tournament 1999 edition, it works really well. But for something like this, it just, the the encoder was like, Ah! <laughs> what are you doing to me? So, I mean, imagine just, imagine my disappointment going through 30 minutes of playing this game on repeat. And I can't use any of the, I can't use any of the footage. Oh my god. Mr. Scary Squiggles. Yeah, it really sucked. So... I had to bump down the uh, FPS back down to 30. I did a test recording and 30 FPS is working. Funny thing is the game's actually playing a lot smoother too at 30 FPS. I mean, I know it's gonna... I know it, it would look so much better at a higher frame rate. It's just not possible at the moment. So here's Wilson from Castaway. He's, uh... Whoa! Okay, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So, there was something here. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, you piece of shit! Fuck you, I ain't scared of you! Oh shit, 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 shit! What is this now? I didn't see this before. What the fuck is this? Base! Base! Home base! I'm safe! Fuck you, I'm safe! Piece of shit! Go find a pencil! Rewind your own goddamn tape! Oh, you're so loud, and that's dark. I can't go that way. Yes, I've heard you. You're saying the same shit over and over again. 
Ooh, he's gone. Breathe. Breathe, guy. You're making me fucking anxious. Okay, so one of the questions I had was... Does he spawn in, or is he always there? Just walking around the map. Now, the one thing that... I did capture in the last video that unfortunately you guys will never see is we actually stumbled upon him and he's just walking around the back rooms so he is here from the start of the game just walking around the back rooms now my question was can I outrun him and get him to just fuck off which it appears I can and now I'm wondering if he's gonna keep following the way I was running or if he's gonna just stay over there Dude, could you like stop breathing in my ear? You're making me horny. Jesus Christ. Your girlfriend's gonna get jealous. So in the last in the last video, what we had done was we had went through here, but there's three rooms on each side or there's two on this side and one on this side. And um they're extremely dark rooms, and I thought they were just dead end hallways. But apparently, if you traverse them long enough, you'll find an um, you'll find an out. And I found a whole other area to explore. What the fuck was that? Is that you breathing into the mic, or was he pounding on a door? See, nobody's come to fix this fucking light. I put in the work order two months ago. So hard to find good help around the back rooms. Yeah, so if you if you traverse those dark rooms uh, long enough, you'll find the out, which is the other side of, of this wall right here. Um, but it seems like all the interesting stuff is on this side. So we're going to go back over here. He's probably going to be over here. Ready to fuck my shit up. Unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Mr. Scary Squiggle! Was that him? Mr. Scary Squiggle! Where are you? Are you still mad at me? Dude, I need you to calm the fuck down! Seriously. You're breathing like you're in a fucking Lamaze class, dude. It's gonna be okay. Get a grip. Did he hit us? I can't remember if he hit us, because if he hit us, I think all of our damage has healed up. Oh, there's more shit down that way. I wanna go and I wanna see what this is. Don't run. Don't alert anybody. Dude, you're breathing into the fucking mic and you're distorting it and it's it's driving me nuts. I don't know what this is. E? No? Pump the wall. Is that him? No, it's you. You're breathing into the goddamn mic. I need you to stop. I can't tell between you and him. My character's an idiot. Oh shit. Dark hallways. What the fuck is this? Oh, are these holes in the ground? Oh shit. Ah, oh, that's the other dark hallway. Okay. Well, I've come to learn that this place sucks. I don't know who the fuck designed it, but this this would not function as a normal office space. The architect should be fucking fired. Or sued, I guess, because the building's already been constructed, but ser seriously. Oh, shit. 
I don't know what to do. So, before we were so rudely interrupted when we found Wilson on the wall, Wilson had... I don't know if it was a... I don't know if it was a plank of wood, or if it was like a vanilla folder, but it had the number three on it. And now it's gone. It's not in that spot anymore. I couldn't pick it up. I tried everything. But I could not pick it up. See, I don't know what I'm doing here. You see, I don't know if I'm supposed to be collecting stuff, if I'm supposed to, like, find an exit. The walls keep telling me that there's no escape. Shit! You fucking sneaky son of a bitch! I was wondering where you went! Dude, I was wondering where the fuck he ran off to! You silly bastard! Holy shit on a shingle! Yes, I hear you! My god! Go find a nipple! No recourse. I have no idea if there's a way to defeat him. He's getting faster. And the game's starting to kind of lag. Oh shit, don't go that way. Ah! Oh fuck. I'm still playing. I keep thinking it's one hit kill. Alright, wait, we gotta juke him! Yes, my god, I hear you. You're screaming about the same old shit as you were the last playthrough. Would you go talk to Joanne on the third floor, please? I don't want to have to take you to human resources. God damn, dude. You don't even have a mouth. I don't think so. I'm just going to run and make him tired. Just tire him out. It's boxing strategy. I want to tire out your opponent. Oh my god, Doodle Bob, shut up. Oh shit. Oh man. Oh. Almost worked us into a corner there for a minute. Okay, so the game was running pretty good at 30 FPS. Now it just seems to be as laggy as it. Oh, nope. Nope, we're good again. I wonder if we can make his ass fall into this fucking hole. Nope, I guess not. He's still behind us. <sighs> Eat a dick! It's a good thing my character's not fat. God. I definitely couldn't run this much. It's also a good thing I don't have a stamina bar, although this is a demo. They could put that in later. Not going in that room. Fuck that room. I was just Oh, shit! Nope. I thought this was maybe like, uh, slender rules. I thought maybe I could stand behind a pillar and as long as he didn't see me, I was safe. God, you are fast! Who hurt you?! Let's just talk this out. We can figure it out. I promise you. Oh, shit. So close. So close to dying. I found this one room that had, like, holes in the floor. You didn't see me. You didn't fucking see me! It's a goddamn lie! It's an absolute fucking goddamn conspiracy. And now he's not screaming anymore. We broke the game. This is probably more terrifying because I can't fucking hear him. Oh my god, and fuck yourself. Juke your bitch. And wall. Nope, and we're dead. Okay. Oh, hey, it's not broken. This time it starts the game over again like it used to. I got it, I got it broken to a point where it just kind of showed a red death screen. And it wouldn't start the game over. But, like, there's no insight. There's no objective. There's no instruction. There's nothing. I don't know if I'm supposed to be collecting stuff. I have to assume so because, again, there was this kind of, like, vanilla folder or some kind of, like... I don't know, fucking thing that was numbered, and I couldn't pick it up, but now it's gone. So, obviously I'm looking for something. I just can't... 
I just, I don't know. I don't have enough information to solve the puzzle. I'd like to take 300 for confusion, Alex. I just can't figure it out. But anyway, this is Backrooms. I thought it looked really interesting, and I'm, I'm very interested in it. I just wish I knew more. And I'm hoping that the full game doesn't just dump you into the fucking back rooms and it's like, here, here you go. Figure it out. Have fun. Pick you guys up in an hour. It's supposed to be like a one... Uh, well, I mean, you could do a single player game. Or you can play co-op with friends up to, I think, four, four players. So it's supposed to be something like that. But, uh, I'm not big on playing with other people. So I'll probably just play this by myself. And hope for the best. But fuck Mr. Scary Squiggle. I don't know what his problem is. All he does is yell at me. Talk about a hostile work environment. Yeah, see, I think he starts over on that side. He starts over here. But I can't be entirely sure about that because sometimes I've spawned and it was literally like 30 seconds and then he started with his shit. Yeah, so like over here there was like a plank of wood or something and it had the number 3 on it. Alright, that's a corner. But I couldn't pick it up. That's, that's the problem. I don't know... I guess I could look... Ooh, shit. Is that him? Was that him? Did you guys see it too? Let's go find out. Mr. Squiggles! Are you in here? Are you in front of me or behind me? Don't be in front of me. What's really stupid is this game actually kind of gives me chills. The moment he starts screaming, and I see him, and mind you, he's fucking stupid. Look at him. He's a silly fuck. But for some reason, it actually freaks me out. I'm actually, like, really freaked out. I've got chills. I'm man enough to admit it. I just wish I knew what the fuck I was looking for. I have no idea what this is. Mr. Squiggles! If we work together, we can figure this out. No? Okay. He doesn't read hieroglyphics either. He's clearly not Egyptian, is what I'm trying to say. Dude, I need you to breathe. I need you to calm the fuck way down, dude. The character, like, I get it. It's great sound design, but it's really annoying. I need him to dial that shit down. I need you to take a fucking uh, Valium or some Quaaludes... Like, knock that shit down. Way down. Alright, if he's over there, let's go this way. Shut up! Mr. Squiggles! And stop fucking breathing into the mic as... Oh yeah, here's the rooms with the holes in the ground. Don't fucking go there, not that you can see them. Because this fucking place is darker than shit. Can't even give me a flashlight. Nut sacks. What was over here? More darkness. What is this? Is that a door? That's a fucking door. I think it's a door. So am I looking for keys or what the fuck am I- Mr. Squiggles! What am I looking for? Tell me your secrets! I can't understand you! I need you to calm down. I'm not going to talk to you like this. Ow, you son of a whore. Did you just slap me with your penis? That is not proper workplace etiquette. I'm going to ask 
that you address me by my proper pronouns. <laughs> Mr. Squiggles! Oh, maybe that's why he's upset. Maybe he's not a mister. Or maybe he doesn't identify as a squiggle. I've been very insensitive. Actually, this was a learning... This was a learning, uh... Ow, you fuck! This was a learning moment for all of us. Anyway, that's the back rooms. I'm gonna call it here. I can't play this game anymore. I can't play it without any information. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I could run around here forever and just battle it out with Mr. Squiggles, but... I'm sure he's got better things to do. Anyway, uh, stay tuned, because now that I have a PC, I'm going to be playing a lot more games. I got a whole library on Steam that's just begging for me to, to sit down and just go through it. So, um, check it out in the next video, whenever that is. I don't know. Don't know if it's going to be uh, more gameplay or if it's going to be some more video game discussions, but keep an eye out for the next one. I'm Derek with Game Somniac, and I will catch you bitches later. Bye bye